All right, here we go. Marcellus is here. Silly Sellers from the Big Gold Belt Podcast. Want to thank Movies and Shakers helping us with this interview here. As we're at Baltimore Comic Con, we're in the Baltimore Convention Center here in Baltimore, Maryland. It's a beautiful day outside. If you're around the area, just come through so you can see us, but this might be recorded afterwards. So hopefully you take some time out during the weekend to support Baltimore Comic Con. I got Edward here. Iggy, is it Iggy Crip? Iggy Crip? I got Iggy Crip here who has the beautiful artwork that you can see behind me. And of course, by me having a Ninja Turtle shirt on, it brought my attention to come here right now just to have an interview with Iggy Crip, Edward. Uh, Iggy Crip, thanks for having this interview. How are you doing today? Good. Good, good. Just tell us a little bit about yourself. So, you know, where are you from? I saw your bio on your website. It was very, very kayfabe. So I, I know the creativity is there. Tell us about yourself. Oh, you read the pizza, like the whole... <laughs> exactly. It was funny to me. I, I, f I forgot it was on there. <laughs> no worries. Uh, I, no, I'm, I'm from Lowville, New York. Okay. Um, okay middle of nowhere gotcha. there's more cows and then people so no so it's a it's a it's a bit of a yeah gotcha. no worries so as I, we talked before on camera or off camera rather where i'm a huge ninja turtles fan you can see i have my shirt here got the 80s cartoon i want to throw a retro throwback style to it but you can see we have a lot of the artwork that features the ninja turtles with marvel characters we got venom coming out next week so it's a lot of great artwork that you see here so edward what, what was your concept of how you got started with this what made you want to go into this type of drawing um i think it was in 90 early 90s there was a Mick Farlane worked on Spider-Man, I don't know, uh, he did his own offshoot of Spider-Man, and there's one where Spider-Man's in Canada, uh -huh. and the cover of him, he's climbing on a tree, and it looked weird, and that's what got me into wanting to draw the comics. Gotcha, so how many years have you doing this? Like, if you just notice the artwork, the artwork is great, I'm going to get me something today, of course, but w how long have you been doing this? Since fourth grade, I've been drawing on my textbooks and stuff like gotcha. that. I draw Popeye, I think there was an 80s Popeye. And he was wearing a Hawaiian shirt, and I just draw that on all my books. So, so if you follow the Big Go Pop Pass podcast, I am in education, so I do work that for a living in my real life. So were teachers supportive of you for doing that, or did they say, why are you drawing in the textbook? I don't think they were supportive because I was ruining the textbooks. <laughs> <laughs> so you had a lot of book fines growing up. I yeah, yeah. I didn't think about that then, but now, yeah. I'll okay. draw on a notepad. <laughs> no problem. So I told you I was a huge Turtles fan, you know, growing up. You say you didn't read the comics a lot, but you were a huge fan of the movies in the 80s series. How, what do you think about the current state of the Ninja Turtles? I know they have a Nickelodeon series currently right now. Do you still catch up with them from time to time? Or what is your fondest memory of the Ninja Turtles? And uh, kinder, was it kinder, it was one of the earlier grades, my friend gave me uh, for Christmas uh, Leonardo Ninja Turtle toy. So whenever they first came out, he got got me one of those, and I was playing with it, and then I was hooked on him ever since. So. so Iggy Crip did tell me that Leonardo is his favorite Ninja Turtle. I have to have a conversation with him about that because I think Donatello is the best one. So now we know some backstory of why Leonardo is his favorite one. So uh, two chains, if we can get some artwork down here. Did you get a chance to see this view down here? I just want everybody to take a look at what we have here as far as all four turtles that we have here. We can say hi to Deadpool on the side right here, but all four turtles are just outstanding artwork. How long does it take you to make these type of drawings and posters to, to present it here? Um, depends. Uh, anywhere from two to eight hours, depending on how much time and detail I want to put into them. So, so, so Sometimes more. We, we got a person off screen who doesn't want to be on screen that's very close to Edward here. We won't reveal who she or he is, but she's trying to give him the right you know, context of the interview. So I appreciate her. I'll give her a fist pound off camera. Yeah, she got it. But so coming back here, Edward did tell me that he's going to Rhode Island coming up soon. It's a very exciting thing if you're a Ninja Turtles fan. What's going on in Rhode Island? Oh, Kevin, Kevin Eastman will be there. So that'll be, that'll be interesting and fun. So if you don't know who Kevin Eastman is, he's one of the creators of the Ninja Turtles, and that's very important for you guys to understand that. So that's a huge honor. I would geek out if I probably saw him there. So, Edward, what is your plans if you meet him? Probably to stare and <laughs> try to stay away. And, uh, it's what I do. <laughs> yeah. Hopefully go up and not make a fool of myself and be like, thanks. And not, oh. You're right. You're right. But it's a great time. You're doing great here. Um, just any other additional questions? What other ways can we promote you? Because this is great artwork. How can people contact you, reach you, so we can make sure they can follow your work? Uh, mostly I'm on Instagram, and I do some Facebook stuff. But uh, I put all my newer work on Instagram, and it's just Iggy Crypt at Instagram. Okay. Or on Inst however that works. Right. Yeah. So if you have it. Oh, I'm sorry. If you look up Iggy Crypt, it, it'll be there. 
So you got that, folks. If you follow Iggy Crip on Instagram, we just posted a picture from the Big Goat Belt podcast. Very nice guy to allow me in front of his artwork just to at least take a picture with him so I can show my display and love for the Ninja Turtles. We have a lot of fans that's actually coming around to check out Iggy Crip and his artwork. So if you're in the Baltimore area, please make sure you come by, see Edward, see Iggy Crip. Make sure you get one of his drawings. It is excellent work. I'm going to get one as soon as this interview is done. But from the Big Goat podcast, Edward, we want to thank you for so much for your time. You know, good luck to you. But once again, put that shout out for you. If you want to follow Edward on Iggy Crypt, let, let that Instagram name one more time. Iggy Crypt at, uh, uh, on Instagram I ha- <laughs> or on Facebook. So, yeah, I'm terrible at promoting myself. <laughs> no, he's doing fine. But we appreciate it. Thank you for your time. Welcome to the Big O Podcast. This is Silly Sellers. Once again, thank you to Movers and Shakers Unlimited for the support in this. And we appreciate it. And we're out.